Good morning, everybody. Deacon Derek Walcott here, back with you. You know, it's been wonderful, you know, and I missed you guys. And listen, we are broadcasting all the way from St. Lucia. Yes, I am in St. Lucia. TCN came all the way to St. Lucia to do breakfast with Deacons because they said, Derek, we missed you. We couldn't have you on last week, Thursday. So we are coming to St. Lucia. You know, Uncle Derek is in St. Lucia um, doing a retreat for the youth. So TCN came to St. Lucia to do breakfast with Deacons, right? April Fools, gotcha. We're in Trinidad and Uncle Derek is back. And welcome to the number one breakfast show in the whole of Trinidad and Tobago. So I want to welcome everybody and, you know, it's good to be back. You know, I did a lot of crazy things in St. Lucia. We're going to share with you that, share that with you another day. But today, as we always start, we always start with a shout out to all those who look on. And we always start with Papa Francis and his word of the day. So let's see what Papa Francis has for us today. Papa Francis says, serving, what does this mean? Serving means giving an attentive welcome to a person who arrives. It means bending over those in need and stretching out a hand to them without calculation, without fear, but with tenderness and understanding, just as Jesus knelt to wash the apostles' feet. Wow serving all called to serve and today we're going to talk to somebody who is in this whole business of serving but first you know i have to give my a shout out to all my girls auntie margarita chapman from west moorings uncle derek saying hey how was your birthday how was ali's birthday bernadette ross from pity valley ruth liverpool and jilla liverpool roberts marina butts from Digo Martin, Veronica from Santa Cruz, Judy Ford from Tunapuna. Hey, this list is getting long. Glenda Sobers from Coover, Patricia Joseph from Coover, Inez from San Fernando, Petra Francis Chang from Union Hall in San Fernando, Anne Marie Moore, Rabba Tali from Gulfview, Joan Clifford from San Fernando, Helen Kahn from San Fernando, Villa from Les Four, Christ the King. Allison and Roger from St. Joseph. Simon, Deacon Simon, I'm back. Good to see you. Um, Allison from New Grant. Hi, Ali. As one of my first, first viewers on this Breakfast with Deacon show. Thelma from San Fernando. Yolanda Kazoof from Philippine in San Fernando. And Henry Harper. I saying hello to everybody outside here. Welcome to Breakfast with Deacons. I know you're on. Don't forget to call in after the show, 680-1043, and tell us what you thought about the show. Okay? Great. Today, I have a wonderful person. Uh, she, her name is Lorraine Pouché. Yes, Lorraine Pouché. You got that right, eh? You know, from the Pouché boys who with um, Silver Stars and so on. She's, she's married to one of the boys. Well, we're, she's my guest on the show this morning, Lorraine. Lovely to have you. Thank you for having me, Derek. You're thank wonderful. you, thank you, thank you. Lorraine and I go back years. When I tell you years, I'm talking about, we ain't talking about that anyway. If you only know how many years. That's it's, okay, plenty it's, years. We, we, we plenty aging years. gracefully, man. We aging gracefully. <laughs> and not only that, we are neighbors. We used to work together at the National Commercial Bank, and now we are neighbors. So it's wonderful, you know. She has a lovely family. But Lorraine has many dimensions to herself. She's an entrepreneur, but she's also involved in par parish ministry. She's president of the Trinidad and Tobago Incoming Tour Operators. She's a board member of the Trinidad Hotels, Restaurants, and Tourism Association. She's a cabinet-appointed standing committee for tourism. She lectures at Credi. She's, she has her own counseling practice. And she's the lady, you ever heard about original pain therapy? Well, as the lady, you know, she's, this is Mrs. Original Pain Therapy. And she does a lot of work with families and a lot of work with youth and a lot of work in the parish of Pity Valley and, uh, and elsewhere. So we brought Lorraine here to just share the good news of what she's doing and, and, and it's all about counseling and helping those who, uh, you know, who need, you know, who need help, who need help. So it's good news and we're just showing you the different dimensions and ministries of your Roman Catholic Church. Lorraine, thanks again so much. No problem. Anytime. So, 
doctors. I mean, you know, you are my neighbor, but they don't know you. So tell them a little bit about Lorraine Pouchet. You're a mother, you're a wife. How many children okay. you have? Well, the first thing I want to say is that Lorraine Pouchet is 61 years young. Awesome. Young. As we are as old as we feel. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've been married this year with me 44 years. Fantastic. Um, to the same man. Oh, but that's even better. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he has really been... Um, Apart from God and Jesus, my strength and my support. He supports me in any undertaking. Sometimes he wonders if I'm cloning myself with the amount of things that I'm involved in. But he's there as a support. Um, I have four children and two girls, two boys, and three grands. The eldest grand is going to be 18 in August. What? And then, yes, I've been around a while. <laughs> and then two younger ones, yeah. um, two girls, yeah. eight and, and six. Yeah. So that, you know, apart from the, the theoretical aspect and being educated in counseling and so on, I do have the practical experience of, of family mm -hmm. because the whole original pain therapy is built around family. It's mm -hmm. about family and understanding family, how family should operate if it doesn't operate properly, what are the resulting dysfunctions, dysfunctionalities that people could have, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I was very lucky many years ago, 23, 24 years ago, uh, my father died. Mm -hmm. uh, Clark and Batu has a grief counseling group and I was invited because he was buried through them and they would every month invite people to come in if they needed counseling. I felt I didn't need because I knew my father was in a better place. However, they called so often and so consistently that I should come to this meeting that one day Elton said to me, you just need to go because they're not going to get off your back. You're going to get that call every month till you go, you better go. <laughs> and little did I know that it was the Lord working in his own way to guide me into an area that he wanted me in and I didn't know about. Yes. And at that first meeting, I met this little diminutive little nun called Sister Helena Profero. Helena, Sister Sister Helena, Helena Profero. Profero uh -huh. A little piece of dynamism yeah. in those days. Yeah. And uh, she was the official counsel of the group. Mm -hmm. And because of an intervention that I made with a young girl who was suffering from guilt mm -hmm. because her sister had committed suicide as a result of sexual abuse by her stepfather. Mm -hmm. She had also been sexually abused and never spoke about it. Wow. So she felt that if she had spoken out, she could have avoided that. Mm -hmm. And she gradu um, gravitated towards me and I was able to assist her with no sort of experience. Right, right. Um, just opening myself to her and listening and trying to help and getting her to get the professional help that she needed. Mm -hmm. So sister asked me if I would be interested in, in learning about this original pain therapy counseling. Mm -hmm. And I said to her, I said, sister, you don't think I have enough problems in the world for me to deal with that I have to go and listen to other people's <laughs> problems, yeah. you know. And she said, well, come and do the course yeah. and see how you feel about it. And I was bitten by the bug yeah. because original pain therapy is an amazing form of therapy. Um, I would just like to ask you, though, if you could say a few words of prayer for sister. She's very ill. She's in Port of Spain general right now. Sister she had, is, yeah, yeah, she had surgery about a week and three days yeah. ago. Yeah. And we're not very happy with the her, her progress so far, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? So I, I just ask those who are listening, who have experienced this and the original pain therapy, to just say a prayer that she would, you know, get better as quickly as possible. And if that is not God's will, that she be able to demit this life as, as peacefully as possible, we, 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 you know? We, we all join but she's you an with, absolutely with, beautiful with, with woman. that prayer, Lorraine, you know? Okay. Thank God and, and thank God for this beautiful ministry that yeah. she led you to. And she is the pioneer for original pain therapy in mm -hmm. Trinidad and Tobago and in the Caribbean, actually. Right. Um, at the time, the only two original pain therapists in the whole Caribbean was Sister Helena and myself, yeah, yeah. you know? And I, I came along into this ministry with her, and she calls it a ministry. Yeah. I came along into this ministry with her and um, she taught me everything she knew, everything, everything. I followed her like a shadow yeah. for years. Mm -hmm. Every talk she gave, every course she gave, till I, I, I thought that perhaps at one time um, divorce may be on the cards because <laughs> my husband was saying, you married to Sister Helen, oh, you're married to me, <laughs> you know. But um, he's a good man and he understood it was God's work, yeah. you know. And then she said to me one day, listen to me, I have taught you everything and you are doing a great job, but you need to go and get a piece of paper that says you can do this. Right, right. So I had to go and get my certification in psych and counseling mm -hmm. um, so that I would understand mm -hmm. in the, the, whole, the whole picture. 
I will tell you it was a difficult time for me because once you have learned original pain therapy, every other form of therapy, therapy pales in comparison. Really? It really pales in comparison. And I said, sister, this is difficult. Why are you putting me through this? Mm -hmm. She says, because you have to get that piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Because for continuity of the whole process, yeah. we need to have people who are qualified. Mm -hmm. What has happened now is that we have trained two other people. Mm -hmm. We have Nicholas Voisin. I'm sure you know Nicholas yes, Voisin. Yes. Um, Nicholas started off as a catechist, mm -hmm. and um, I met God. him mm -hmm. through doing this course for the catechist in St. Anthony's Church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he sort of debugged with him too. Yeah. He came back and he did the course a second time. Yeah. And then I said, Nicholas, you seem quite interested. Would you like to learn this therapy? Yeah. And then I started to mentor him and train him. Yes. And actually, Nicholas is in his final stages of getting his master's in psychology. Wonderful. So we are very happy with that and to have a male on yes. board. Yes. Because it's very, very important, especially for the young people mm -hmm. out there, to mm -hmm. have a male. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, Anna McCletchy Burke, who right. is now a principal of mm -hmm. one of the schools. Anna did this course through um, Deborah De Rocio's group. Yeah, uh, uh, not remembering the name right now, a yeah. uh, senior moment. And um, she was very interested in it. Yeah. And uh, she started, she asked to train. Now everybody has to do their own th to be counseled first. Eh? Yeah. So you they deal with their issues. You have to deal with your own issues. Right. right. And um, so she is now mm -hmm. just finished actually handing in her thesis, and she's also doing her, her, her in psychology. So, so you have only three people in Trinidad currently practicing. That's right. Uh, and we have somebody else training right, right. now. Excellent. We, you know, we, we open our arms to anybody who would like to come in and do the mm -hmm. training, but you need to be committed because this yeah. is not just a business, this is a ministry. It is a ministry. And, and we look for certain qualities in the people, mm -hmm. and it is really essentially, we consider it very Catholic and Christian oriented mm -hmm. because original pain therapy is not just about the psyche, mm -hmm. it's about the body, the mind, the spirit, yeah. the, the soul is the whole person. Right. And um, we touch on all aspects within the process of the therapy. Mm -hmm. So that is very important that who is coming to do this therapy yeah. needs to be of a certain, I would not say only intellectual level. But there needs to be that part of our, our of who we are yeah. spiritually, yeah. that because you know the lifestyle that you live yes. influences the work yes. that you do. Yes. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't say anymore. I think yes. that speaks volumes. Yes. You know. So yeah. we we need to have a certain lifestyle. So I mean. That basically, and I've been doing this. I was working in the bank. Yeah, we were working in the bank. When, you know, it's, it's when a, I was introduced to this thing, eh? you know, I was in the bank when you were introduced. I was to this, in the bank. I was in this thing so long. I was in middle management right. when NCB became part of FCB. Right, right. Um, and and I was introduced to this thing through yeah. Sister Helena, and um, it, it really, I really wanted to get involved, and I got my confirmation through a Life in the Spirit seminar. Where I was life in the spirit. Life seminars. in the spirit. Only hear how important this life thing about, in this the encounter spirit. with Christ with a yes, life in the spirit, spirit seminar. seminar. Yeah. When um, when they prayed with me and I said, "Well, look, my God, give me gifts. I'll be happy with the gifts of tongues or something, you know." Yeah. Um, and the lady is saying to me, "Why she's praying with me? Um, counseling, the gift of counseling." And I said, "No, I don't want it." And she said, are you crazy? You can't tell the Holy Spirit you don't want the gift of counseling. <laughs> I said, I will tell you. As I told sister, I don't want to be seeing about people's problems. She yeah. says, well, that's what the Lord has intend intended for you. Amen. I didn't do it once. I did life in the Spirit twice. Yes. The yeah. reconfirmation was the same thing. Amen. Counseling. Yes. And I was guided. Mm -hmm. I mean, he must be laughing up there right now. I was just guided. Yeah. And everything fell in place. Yes. Eventually, FCB offered something called VSEP. You know what that was? I took it too. And your girl was the first <laughs> to sign up on that. And I said, okay, so now I can do yes. husbands, help husband with his business, which I was doing quietly because right. he's a tour operator, he's into tourism. Right. And then I was able to do mm -hmm. my work. Okay. And um, we have now registered an association of original pain therapists. We have formally applied to the Catholic Church to be an yes. official. They have named us, but we wanted to be official. Yes. A, a, a ministry within the within church. the church. And our dream is one day to own our own counseling center where even though people cannot afford to pay, they can yeah. come. Yeah. Yeah. You know, those who pay, pay. Those who can't pay, don't yeah. pay. And we want to focus a lot on our youth, our adolescents, our young adults. Right. The newly married, the about to be married, those are the areas we want to focus on. But Lorraine, you, 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 
you know, when I was just color. going over, as a mouthful, <laughs> but when I was going over the bio, you also said, that, you know, I also noted that you work with Credi. Yes, I am. Um, original pain therapy is a mandatory course at Credi. So you Can you teach, believe that? I, I, this is fantastic. I teach, Nicholas teach, and Anna and, and, and teach. We take it in turns and we facilitate the, the, the groups. We have groups from as small as 10 to as large as 25. So you are, in, is this mandatory? It is credit? mandatory at Credi if, if you're doing the um, education Educate, uh -huh. and if you're doing the guidance and counseling programs. Right. Because Archbishop Gilbert uh -huh. was a very, a, a very visionary man, a yeah. quiet man, not a Trinity cultured man, but a visionary man. Right. And he understood that if we are turning out people who are going to go out there and be educating our young people, they can't be carrying and projecting their baggage onto these young people. They need to deal with their issues. So you don't only do the course, you got to come and do the therapy. You got to deal with your issues. People so we are now and Tobago. Did you all just hear that? Yeah. You're talking about ev all graduates from Credi. They have to do the OPT course, not and only the course, not, not only, only the theoretical course. aspect, but the, or, the the inner work, your own individual work. So they have to do work. their own inner work they come for to their us. own healing, their That's own inner right. healing, That's and right. then they learn how to do this. And then, no, no, they don't learn how to do it, but uh, they learn how to recognize what's happening with the young people fantastic. who are presenting themselves, and they do not project their pain onto these young people. Wow. Um, Dr. Jules, uh -huh. who was the past head of Predi, oh she did this course yeah, yeah. and she was one of the main people who was right. pushing yeah. that this course must be in there. Yeah. And I want to send out a special hello and thank you to Bishop Lianos. Yes. He is an oh, absolutely yes. amazing God-filled man. Dr. Robs, you're getting big up today, boy. And he, um, he understood because yeah. one of our first meetings to bring this work into the Catholic yeah. system right. was with Bishop Robert. Yeah, Bishop Robert. Yeah. And he, as a psychologist himself, yes. he understood the power of this work. Mm -hmm. And um, he really smoothened the way for us yeah. and made things happen. And, mm -hmm. and it's because of, I think, indirectly because of him. Mm -hmm that we have been able to reach so many people. And I just want to make it clear that this is not only about Catholics, eh? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this is not only about Christians. Anybody who wants to go on a journey of self-healing yes. and of self-discovery and healing of themselves mm -hmm. um, is very welcome to come and do this course. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's, it's really based on the Inner Child yeah. theory. Yeah. It, was, it was, first of all, um, pioneered by uh, John Bradshaw out mm -hmm. of the United States. Right. But he started just with the, from infancy, from the time we are born. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, he started from infancy and um, he went to, to infancy, toddler, preschool, school age and he sort of pulled everything together with the adolescence and the forming of the new adult. Right. And sister felt that, oh no, no, if God created us, it goes even further back. It which, goes from which sister? Helena. Our sister Helena. Our sister Helena felt that uh -huh. it goes even further back. Right. And that the damage that we are seeing in people has mm -hmm. its root in the prenatal stage of development. Wow. And she did some research and I assisted her. Mm -hmm. And we came up with that first part of our course, which is the prenatal stage of development. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I'm rambling too much, you just put no, a pen. But when I start to talk about this thing, you know, both, both it's of us just, have, we it have just motor mouths. Motor, right, motor right. mouths on, on television. And, then. and um, that at first part, mm -hmm. and it was confirmed in a very powerful way at the recent Divine Mercy Conference. Dr. Ricardo that's, Gomez that's, spoke about that. We spoke, you know I mean? and he gave, when yeah. he, I mean, I was getting goosebumps when this man was talking because yeah. I almost couldn't make that conference. Eh? Yeah. And then I got up one morning and said, everything has to clear. I'm going to that conference. Because yeah. I was trying to go to the other two and I never reached it. Right. And when he started to speak about the brain, yeah. how the brain forms, yeah. how the synapses connect, mm -hmm. how if anything goes wrong in the prenatal stage of development, how it affects the person so negatively or can affect them positively if it goes correct. Mm -hmm. It's everything that we teach in that first stage of development. Mm -hmm. And when we were coming together with that, that first stage and understanding that from conception we are impacted upon. I don't know if you know this, Derek, but God created the act of sex to be something that is beautiful and wonderful. Amen. And he created it to be in love. Right. So that when a new human being comes out of that, we have created somebody that is beautiful, whole. that they're foundation yes. and that they're whole. Yes, yes, yes. And when we were discovering that if a woman is taken by force, yeah. this person can develop some really negative things. Yes. Anti-male orientation, 
anger, mm -hmm. rage, mm -hmm. okay? If it's, if it's not done in love, if, it, and, and if it's we, done in lust. If it's done in lust. Yeah. And not only that, if, if, if a woman does not want a child, yeah, yeah. what we have found is that unwanted son, sons turn to social deviance and violence. What are we seeing on the streets of Trinidad and Tobago? Right. Who and is this, getting killed? The, 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 this goes all the way back from to the womb. womb. From the moment of from creation. From the moment of creation. And girls, mm -hmm. if they are unwanted, they yeah. turn to promiscuity. What do we see wow. in our in, is happening among our young people today? Okay? So that there were some powerful confirmations in that talk mm -hmm. and how the brain is formed and how, how, mm -hmm. how we, we, we become who we are. Mm -hmm. And in OPT, we look not only at the psyche, yeah. we also look at part of our work is to discern. Mm -hmm. So a client comes to us mm -hmm. and we talk and we, we get some history and so on and we say, okay, is this problem neurosis or psychosis? Do they need to see a psychiatrist or can I help? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes we find out after they need to see the psychiatrist, but we go through the process. Right. We also need to do some spiritual discernment. Because you see, many of our people, and as Father John T. always, always says, hell is real, brother. Yes. Hell is real. Yeah. Um, and Satan is real. Yeah. And what we have found is that there are times that we pick up spiritual issues mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in someone's life. Yeah. Not of their own doing, but just yeah. remember that if you're empty spiritually, you are making room yes. Yes. for things that are not yeah. clean to come into you, yeah. and that could cause some issues. Right. So part of our work is determining, do I need to send this person to Terrace to talk to somebody yeah. to yeah. deal with some issues that they may have? Yeah. Because what we have found over the years is that any blocks to our spirituality come from our original pain. Right. Where's our original pain? Mm -hmm. Our original pain could be things that people do to us, mm -hmm. um, but maybe I should show this now. This uh, might be a good idea. Let, let, let's get the camera to focus in on this. I, I know, so and while, while they're focusing on this, Lorraine, maybe you can talk about this. I will talk about know? it. So here we have a, a, a drawing, teenager. What is a teenager in between? No yeah. longer a child, not quite an adult. Mm -hmm. What we would call adolescent, Right. okay? And in the body of this young male adolescent, we have the five stages of development. You have prenatal, inf um, infancy, toddler, preschool, school age, and then the teenager. Right. So what this is telling us is that this young male is the sum total mm -hmm. of all his experiences through the five stages of development. Right. If they are positive, he'll be positive. Yeah. If they're negative, yeah. he will have some issues, some major right. issues. Right. Now what happens when a child up to school age, a child is under the control of the parents or the home. Mm -hmm. So you don't really see anything too negative because they find ways to cope. Right. We call those coping or defense mechanisms, right. which could be anything. Mm -hmm. It could be numbing out, it could be re rebelliousness, it could be various issues, okay? Mm -hmm. But when they become a young teenager, mm -hmm. and as the old people would say, they start to smell the perspiration, yeah. all hell break loose. <laughs> and somebody could say to you, yeah. but that was a nice little child. Yeah, what, what happened? What happened? Right, right. He is coming into his own. She's coming into their own. They're confused. Right. They don't understand. Yes. And remember, adolescence is the most difficult time of the human life cycle. Eh? Right. Because you have the hormones. Yeah. You have the issues of work. You have the issues mm. of love relationships. You have all kind of issues coming to play there. Right. Then on this child now, apart from the development stages and what we need, for example, I'll just give you one. In the womb, all we need to know is that we are wanted for the very one that we are. That's our need in the womb. Right. I am wanted. If mommy don't want me, yeah. daddy don't want me, yeah. then I will have rejection issues for my entire life. But, but wait, 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 wait. And Lauren. that affects our relationships with people. But, but I mean, this thing is so deep. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, just, just, just want to move this chart back a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but tell me something, Lorraine. I mean, you're talking about so many of our existing population, yeah. you know, who maybe they weren't formed mm -hmm. from the moment of conception out of love. They mm -hmm. may have been formed out, out of, of lust. Um, if, if you, you may have had a lot of unwanted pregnancies where... 66% of women who are pregnant do not want their babies. S Sorry, no, no, you're, you're shattering me there. 66%, 66 of women who are pregnant do not want their babies because they have either conceived as a teenager yeah. and we have a high percentage of teenage pregnancies. Right. They don't want to be pregnant, they're still in school. Okay. They're now getting to know who they are. Yeah. Okay. You have women who've had two, three, four children. 
Yeah. They don't want number five. Yeah. Trinidad and Tobago has a history of five children, five different fathers. Yeah. 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 Okay? And this is not only Trinidad and Tobago. Worldwide, 66% like of women who are pregnant do not want. My we are goodness. producing yeah. a, a society, generations of unwanted people. Males will turn to social violence. Yeah. Girls will become promiscuous because they are just looking for acceptance. Males are also looking for acceptance, but they go to look for it in the wrong place. And in the absence of a proper family system and structure, the gang becomes the parent. You know, people, as, as Lauren and I were sharing, you know, and sharing this incredible ministry, the good news about this ministry is that we have it in the Catholic Church. The good news is that, you know, there are people within the church that are basically working in this ministry. Now, we, we also heard that we only have three people in Trinidad and Tobago. And I mean, if you're looking at 66% of all pregnancies, uh, you have a challenge there in terms of not planned, maybe not wanted, that type of thing. Do you recognize or do you realize, you know, how much healing has to take place in this land? A lot. You know, uh, I want to encourage anybody looking on. If you feel so called, remember Papa Francis's word for us this morning is all about serving. What does this mean, he says? Serving means giving an attentive welcome to a person who arrives. It means bending over those in need and stretching out a hand to them without calculation, without fear, but with tenderness and understanding, just as Jesus knelt to wash the apostles' feet. To me, that, that, that is, is amazing that we're talking about service in such a beautiful way today. Mm -hmm. You know, Lorraine, anybody... I know we only have a couple of minutes. I just want to, to interrupt you for one second. I really want to talk about this. The parents... Let's, let's get this back in yeah, focus. The so parents are also a powerful influence because that's the family system. Yeah. And you and I are who we are. Yeah because of the family system and our genetics. Okay. Then we have our experiences, but it's not just the experiences in the family, it's the experiences in the church. Okay, okay. It's the experiences in the schools, how teachers interact with our children who have them most of the time. Right. And it's also the socio-cultural influences on who we are. What do we see? Somebody was saying, I don't know where this little child learned to whine like that carnival time. Yeah. I said, but you're taking the child to see carnival since he's two, three years old. Right. When you're watching it from on top, what is he seeing? Right. What right. area of the human anatomy is he seeing? Right. What do you think he's learning? Yes. And we don't understand these simple things that influence who we are Lorraine, as a people. How can we help? Bring uh, me back so I can continue talking about <laughs> this because we just touched the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> you all realize that, according to Lauren, we just touched the tip of the iceberg. We got to bring Lauren back to talk more about original pain therapy. We want to encourage you all too that those who may need people, those who may know people who need help in these areas, get in touch with us. You can always call Uncle Derek at 6801043. You can call Lorraine 753-2775. 753-2775. Or we both work out of St. Anthony's Parish. So get in touch with St. Anthony's Parish and St. You know, Father Leo, the people within the parish, the secretary, they will know how to get in touch with us. But also if you need and if you feel that you have that gift to counsel, especially in this area, get in touch with us so that you too can learn. You know, the... And once people get a group together, you, you, we're you going go, down in the area of South Bebetes and we're going to do the course. Those of, uh, those of you, and I know I have a big posse watching at us from San Fernando. You heard what Lorraine said. Get in touch with us. We will come San Fernando to do the teaching. It's important. Our nation needs healing. Today is all about good news. We've shared with you the good news that we have this beautiful ministry called Original Pain Therapy. Our land needs healing. This is Uncle Derek with Breakfast with Deacons, the number one breakfast show in the morning, talking about good news. And today was about good news. It was about waking us up to really understand the challenges that we have in society and why we are when, because of why. Because we're here, because why? We don't want to follow God's plan. We want to do our own thing. And of course, we're going to suffer the consequences. Breakfast with Deacons, the number one breakfast show in the morning. See you all on Thursday where we have a bomb for you guys. Have a wonderful couple days and see you on Thursday. Simon Rosta, give us a call. Anybody who heard it, call 680-1043. Tell us what you think. See you all on Thursday. Lauren, that was up.